Hello and welcome to Beta Revival. This is a little mod pack thing I've thrown together basically just to simulate the old beta Minecraft on modern Minecraft. What it comes down to is old textures, old sounds, old world generation, and old mechanics more or less, except for the bows. And I can still sprint. But there's no hunger, um, there's no stackable foods, there's no hit delay. The world generates like it used to, though all the structures and everything and all the biomes are still here. It's just the way that they generate is different. And I thought this would be a little bit fun just to go back and look at how Minecraft used to be, more or less. Uh, I've also got the minimap mod, and I've got an, I've got a mod that adds obsidian, uh, obsidian tools and armor just for the sake of having some extra progression because I've played this game for like 10, 10 years of being stupid, so I'm kind of sick of the uh, the normal vanilla. But this should be a little bit of a nostalgia trip. I'm already listen to those sounds. It's just fantastic. The goal is basically I'm just gonna beat the game. I'm gonna go from survival all the way through, or I'm playing survival, I'm gonna go all the way through nether and beat the dragon, beat the wither, that'll be that. Uh, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Mostly I just want to explore and look at everything, see how the world is though. This will probably go on for like 15 or 20 episodes depending on how long it takes me to beat the dragon and everything, but it shouldn't be too bad. Starting off basically, uh, I feel like I've got to make the age-old joke. <laughs> Getting wood. Okay, there we go. Now we've got that out of the way. Let's see what we can pillage. I know I saw a village over there and there's a temple over here. Oh, these old sound effects. <laughs> and the roses. Oh, the roses are back. And everything's really saturated because I went and turned to... Excuse me, what? I, I don't remember pig's faces ever being like this. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. Oh my god, those sheep. Those oh, sheep are still derpy. What the fuck is wrong with the pigs? <laughs> Somehow making them less derpy has made them look even derpier. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm losing my shit right now. I need to just keep going. Oh my god. Oh jeez, that's... <laughs> that's... That's that's something fantastic right there. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, why are mobs spawning so much? Is it old mob generation too? Like, will they just spawn anywhere? Because if it is, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, um... Oh, don't blow me up. Don't blow me up. No, come on, 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 Holy shit, how much health do you have, Creeper? Fucking die. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I need to make some equipment before I deal with this. I'm Because Jesus Christ, these things are... Oh, that was... That was more tense than I expected. Maybe it's just because I'm back in the old Minecraft, but it, fe it feels just so much harder, even though it's realistically basically the same Minecraft. I've just changed how it generates and how combat works. Oh god, alright. Let's grab a couple pork chops and then head down into that mine after I've got a sword and a pick. Yeah, it has to be old mob generation, because I can hear shit generating in there. Or like, spawning in there, rather. Which normally doesn't happen. 
because I don't know if people are aware, but Minecraft generation changed a while back to make it so that monsters could only spawn within, it basically refined the parameters the monsters could spawn in to, uh, to make it so that they can't spawn like right on top of you. Hmm, I'm not sure the combat thing worked. Hmm. That might be a little bit of a flaw I found, but either way. So be it. Oh. I'm gonna avoid you, and I'm gonna see if I can get down here. Oof. Okay. Let's go in. Um. Some horse armor, that's decent. And a saddle, that's even decenter. Mm, another saddle, I don't really need you. A couple of emeralds. Oh god. Okay. I'm already kind of thrown off with this. Actually, why am I why am I gathering sand and shit? I don't actually need you. I don't intend to do anything crazy here. I just wanna beat the game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so that's that conquered. We need to go and find that village now, which would have been back this direction, I think, because the lake was there. Maybe. Yes, if I go this way, I should run into it. I can't remember precisely or accurately at all, but hopefully we'll run into it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the old sound effects. Mm. Oh yeah, we instantly eat food too. I forgot about that. Kind of sad that the uh, the combat thing didn't work. Maybe we have to configure that. Classic. Oh. Uh... Okay, so it's still old combat, which is slightly obnoxious, but I'll live with it. All right, let's head into the village and see what we can find to eat. Actually, we don't even need food. I don't even know if any of this stuff will stack. What if it's just meats that don't stack? That'd be very bizarre if it was. Though it would also make sense because it's food. Oh, the old ugly cobblestone textures. Ugh. Oh, God, I miss this stuff. Man, I wish the mod somehow added the word testificate over the head too. That would have been just the icing on the cake. Does this stuff stack? No. Oh. That makes carrots a lot less useful. Alright. Let's see, I need to make a bed really quickly before night falls, which is happening already. Oh boy. Alright, let's find some wool. Hopefully some sheep, maybe. If not, I'm about to have a shit show of a night. <laughs> uh, yeah, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Yeah, sheepy, sheepy. I should have went back and got the sheep. Alright, well. Oh boy. There's no light posts in this town. Hmm. I'm gonna have to hide in the house for now. Wait until morning. Put that torch there so it lights everything up better. Alright, I'm just gonna hide for the night. Okay, so the sun is up. I AFK'd there for a bit. Which means I should be able to go off and try to explore some more. Oof, creepers. Alright. Anyway, regardless, I should hopefully be able to find a place to settle down. I want to find a village that has like some decent gear or something, because that's it's always good to just get a head start. Because I've I've played this game like a billion times, and I don't want to I don't want to sit through all the basic grindy shit. So I want to try to get a head start if I can with tools and such. Oh, let's see if I can find a village or something. Another one, rather. <clears throat> Maybe a desert temple or a any temple. Jungle temple? I, saw, I know there was a jungle that way, but I don't want to mess with jungles. Jungles are horrible. I hate them. Might as well. I can get a few sticks from these. Which is a new mechanic, not an old one, but I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, there's another jungle over here. 
That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We're starting to experience some of the slightly derpy terrain. <laughs> oh, I miss this though. This is... God, this is way more nostalgia than I expected. I, I remember back when this was what the game looked like. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> With the straight lines that it sometimes generates where it just scuffs out when it's trying to randomize materials and the way that it doesn't feather. Oh. This is this is the good old good old Minecraft right here. I really I really appreciate all the changes that Mojang and Mojang Microsoft have made, but man, this is always gonna be something for me. With these old caves. And this, this weird the weird shit that would generate that just was never explained and was basically unexplainable like this random pocket man i miss these especially if they could bring this back to the terra generation just these random these random pockets and the, they used to be like these random um like drops where they'd just be like a pit in the ground and it, it's not like a tunnel it'd be like a huge huge radius and it'd go down like 20 or 30 blocks it just those were really cool they don't generate anymore though, unfortunately. But I really miss them. It'd be really cool to have those back. i say that's maybe the one terrain feature that I miss the most, because that was actually really fun to find and explore. And they were just great locations to build and stuff, because you could just... You could build a house in it, you know? And it was, it was genuinely big enough you could build a huge house in it. Those were awesome. Uh, but if anything else, that's one of the things I miss the most. But, tis as it is. Oh, there's a temple. All right, nice. I got to be careful, because if I remember right, there's probably going to be zombies. Because the light doesn't work properly in these jungles. Ugh, ow. God, the falling sound effects just make it sound so much more violent than it actually is. <laughs> that's probably why they changed it, to be honest. Oh god, alright, let's try to get into this thing and see if we can find, uh, some iron. Oh, there's zombies in there. I can hear them. Oh, damn it, let's just mine in. <laughs> Emeralds, gold... All right, let's just grab some torches. And move in. Oh! There we go, oh man. Ah, the old dispenser texture is nice. Ooh. And the old arrow sounds. I'm gonna gather these because bow and arrows are really good. Just drop some of that crap. Oh, diamonds and iron already. Nice. I'll be able to make a diamond sword. And an iron pickaxe. That's a good head start. Head start, rather. Don't think anything else generates in these. It's a lot of wasted space. Alright. Um, let's do that. Actually, I can gather some string too and I can make a bow. And that'll give me another head up. That's one string, two, three. There we go, now we can make a bow. And I can make my sword and my pick. Is it already getting dark? Feels like it. It can't be though, surely not. God, this game has always been... I don't know, it always felt way scarier than it really was, which sounds stupid because it's Minecraft, but back in the days when you didn't know what the hell was going on, what anything was, before I knew any of the recipes. It was hard, it was hard, it was difficult. Or it felt more difficult. I don't think it actually really was, except for the, uh, the cheaty mob spawning. Which, damn it. The cheaty mob spawning is definitely a proven, an improvement I, I can get behind, because but now the way that mobs used to spawn was horrible back in the day. It was, yeah, like I said, it just spawned on top of you. Anytime you tried to sleep, they would spawn on you because the beds were glitched, which Oh. oh, now this is the kind of generation you don't get anymore. Oh man, look at this. Ow. 
I look at this cave. This is cool. It's like a derpy ravine cave. Oh, I really like that. That's so bizarre. This is so strange. It's like a ravine tried to generate like a cave does. God, that's weird. Well, I'm down for it anyway. It's cool. Just try to make our way up here. There's probably some more iron somewhere in this. Or coal. I'll take coal too. One of the things I want to do very, very quickly is I want to get another portal and I want to go to the nether and I also want to get iron armor. Those are like my first two big steps. I've already got the diamond sword and I don't really need a diamond pick to go to the nether despite what some people will assume. It's actually quite a bit easier to just get a bunch of buckets and a bunch of buckets of lava and do it that way because that only takes like... 10 minutes, which you could be searching for diamonds for an hour. So I'm probably gonna go for that. Ah, drink of water. Drink some water. Gotta stay hydrated. I remember back when I first started, one of the ways that we would track people, because I was mainly a factions player, what we would do was we would watch for cactuses and things that had grown, because cactuses always generate one block tall. Same with sugar canes. I think, actually, I think sugar canes can do two or three, but I know for a fact cactuses only started as one block and then they'd grow. So you could follow people's path of movement if they passed a desert because the cactuses would all be way taller before you got there. And it was pretty reliable. But that's just one of those weird things we did. One of the weird mechanics that we used. <laughs> it was very stupid back then. It still is. Now you have things like entity tracking where people pull up their F3 screen and look at how many entities are in the area and be like, oh yes, well you see, because we could figure out by the fact that there are there are already entities within the zone, and there's blah 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 that there must be a spawner or a chest nearby, and blah 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 science. Oof, I'm gonna have to hide in a hole tonight if I can't find some sheep really quickly. But yeah, that's how people do it nowadays. But back in the other, back back in my day, here, back before you darn kids ruined Minecraft. Um, <laughs> I feel old saying that, but I'm like, I guess I've been playing this game for ages, but I'm only barely, I'm only like 20, so. Back in my day. God, I've been playing this game for half my life. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, that realization's just kind of dawned on me. I've been... Fuck. What is my life? <laughs> Alright, well, on the plus side, I can get some... Mmm, sheep. That's an issue. I gotta dye this wool. If I can. Oh shit, I gotta cook it, never mind. Maybe I'll be able to craft a bed anyway. Will it let me? Hopefully. Fuck. Okay, so I gotta find gray wool. Or white wool. Let's see, maybe I'll get... No, it's black wool. Fuck. Um... Oh, and the mobs are already spawning everywhere. I gotta find a white sheep or two more gray sheep. Otherwise, I'm dead. Oh, maybe I can circle around and get to that bat at least. I don't think it'll be much safer, but... Maybe marginally speaking. <laughs> Alright, this looks... Fucking creeper. Oh god, that enemy has green eyes. Oh, I forgot about that. That's creepy. Yeah, I need to block this off. Okay, that's all the ways in blocked. Let me just light up these corners. Maybe there'll be string down here that I can use. I don't know if string actually generates in these. I haven't. Oh, even rotten flesh doesn't stack. That's kind of annoying. I'll have to dump that in a chest. 